Delfino Plaza, a relaxing beachfront town full of bustling markets, scenic hangout spots, and even a prison. But what's really going on underneath the surface? How is the local economy? Well, that's what we're about to find out and there's only one way to do it. We need to figure out the unemployment rate of this place. What's the best way to do that? We're just gonna have to survey the whole population, one by one. Let's do it. Today, Mario will be playing the role of our enumerator, and like usual, all we've got to do is go around and just make a determination about every single person who lives in this village. All right, we've got to do this systematically, so we'll start in this plaza here. This is our first candidate. Does this look like somebody who's employed? No, it doesn't. It looks like somebody who's on vacation. What's that? Hold on, I smell it. Something's going to happen, but where? Where is it? We can't really assume anything based on the way that this person's dressed because everybody in this town is dressed like this. But this is somebody that if, if they're employed, that means they're using their day off to sit around smelling trees. And if you've got a ton of time to pursue so many hobbies that you enjoy smelling things now, there's no way you are employed. All right, what are you up to? This darkness makes me gloomy and depressed, okay. Are you employed? Definitely not actively working. But I will say, you know, if the darkness is making you gloomy and depressed, that does imply you're usually not gloomy and depressed, like if it's sunny. Which to me sounds like someone who's not employed, because being employed is depressing. Kind of. And he's also just like yelling at some dude who just got into town for no reason. This, he smells like someone who's got too much time on his hands. This isn't, this isn't employed behavior, sorry. All right, we got a couple toads over here, but I believe the toads came with me to the island. So we're, the, these are interlopers. And then over here, we got this guy yelling at a poster, big Majora's Mask construction worker energy here. He's wearing a hat and he's got a mustache, which makes him look like he has a job because he's like dressing up, but let's see. Unforgivable, someone ruined my wall, my wall. Okay, so he owns this building. What is this building? That's the question. Could be some sort of fruit stand. I guess the main question is, is it a residential building? Uh, it doesn't look like a residential building. Yeah, it's got a giant spire on it. So it's, yeah, this, there's no way this is a residential building. And there's nothing small business owners like getting mad about more than people defiling their property. I'm not being judgmental, I'm just saying that's a pattern. So honestly, I think this guy's probably employed. All right, I believe that's everyone in the plaza here, so let's move. We're gonna do the outside of the island first. Oh boy, look at this. This smells like employment. Fruit stand, employed. Pepper stand, employed. Double fruit stand, employed. More fruit, also employed. I'm getting a sense of the local economy here. That's four people employed. Let's see if they have anything to say about the economy. No free samples, see, that, that's a small business owner if I ever met one. I'm really clowning on small business owners, I'm sorry, I don't have any problem with you, I just like making fun of everyone. All right, so that, that's some pretty definitive answers for employment, that's good. What are you two up to? I got a first observation, sailor's uniform, smells like employment, but let's see what they have to say. My tree is much bigger, my leaves are nicer too. I'm telling you, the tree on my head's way taller. Okay, so they're arguing about whose tree on their head is better. But they are both wearing sailor's uniforms. And I, I feel like I'm correct in saying that that's not... People don't wear those for leisure, right? Those hats are like specifically sailor's hats. Let me look it up. Yeah, I mean, those that that's a sailor's hat. That's absolutely a sailor's hat. And I feel like if you're gonna take a bet, You'd probably say that if you're wearing a sailor's uniform, the likelihood is you're employed. <laughs> Gotta say, so far I'm pretty surprised at how much employment there is. I was expecting to come in here and be like either completely unable to tell or everyone would just be unemployed. And so far it's, it's actually looking pretty good for Pianta Village, which is super surprising. All right, what's your story, buddy? He's sitting in the shade, just chilling. Oh, he gave me sunglasses. Ah, oh, God damn it, now the screen's gonna be dark. Um, so this is someone who's just, he looks a little bit older, to be honest. I think part of that is I'm being prejudiced because of his glasses and mustache and his hat and his face and his body. Uh, but he does look a little bit older and he is just sort of relaxing in the sun. He's giving away sunglasses, he's not selling them. But he re this guy really does feel like retired, you know? I think, I think I'm gonna mark this guy down as retired, ergo non-eligible. All right, what's your story? I still wish the sun would return, but who needs a tan? Okay, that doesn't help me a ton. Uh, you do have peppers on your back. That's a dead giveaway that you're selling peppers. 
Because in what other context are you carrying those peppers around? Because there's uh, there's not like a grocery store that sells peppers. And they're also uh, peppers. What am I saying? Peppers. Mushrooms. And, and they weren't purchased at the market, right? Mushrooms don't even exist on this island. So they were probably brought in from the mushroom kingdom, for God's sake. Which, first of all, I never noticed that. That's a fun detail. So this person probably foraged the mushrooms from the mushroom kingdom and is importing them. That sounds like a job, my friend. That sounds like a job. All right, is there anybody else on the beach? I see a toad up there. It doesn't count. Anybody out there? I don't believe so. Anybody out there? I think there, maybe there's somebody out there. I can't remember. Yes, there's somebody out here. All right. Odds are not employed, but let's see what they have to say. I was shipwrecked and washed up here three years ago. Go get a job, hippie. Some people are just so lazy. They just won't get a job. Next up, who's this? It was weird being stuck in that goop. It was gross, but I gotta admit it was kind of sweet like candy. Yeah, I remember when I first tried It's just one of those things. I'm gonna have to beep that out. Unfortunately, you're kind of like the most generic looking Pianta. You have no distinguishing features. You are just kind of wandering back and forth, but let's see where you go. Let's see if you go anywhere that screams employment. Are you like one of those mall walkers? You know those old people who just walk in malls? Are you walking to the police station to, are you, are you like a rat? Are you an undercover informant? Mm, maybe. You kind of like go out here and spy on people and then come back. I mean, that's pretty much all we can surmise. And I, f I feel like undercover informant isn't actually a job. It's just kind of like a thing you do to get yourself out of prison sooner. So I think this person is either trying to shorten a prison sentence because we know there's a jail here or they're just regularly unemployed. Either way, unemployed next up oh boy the only crime that's ever happened happened three days ago maybe they're brand new cops because they are just dressed like everyone else but with like a hat and a, and a little uniform so it's actually it's maybe it's possible that the police department was founded when this all happened i suppose i could see that in which case either way these two cops they're employed <laughs> Okay, I believe that's everyone in this portion of the map. Pretty high employment rate over here. This is really kind of the, the business district, you know? This is like what you'd see in the postcards. Go visit the, the Pianta Market. Wet come. Oh, welcome. Sorry. Why would you write it like that? Anyway, on to the next area. Where are we going? Over on this edge, we've got three toads. They're not employed. They're interlopers. Then we got you. What are you? Run the, you run the cannon? You want to go to that island? All right, hop in there and cover your ears. Yeah, okay, this person is running a cannon, which I could see not being a job. I could see this being just like a side thing that he does. But given that it's the way to get to the amusement park over there, most likely uh, this person works for the amusement park. So congratulations, you're employed. All right, next up. Hello, are you the model from the from the painting? You might be. Bring me three durians. Just bring the fruit here and put it in the basket. Are you trying to employ me? Does that mean you're employed? She said, do you want to work for me? But you can definitely say that to someone and not mean it in like an official way. But I don't know, if you employ people, are you automatically employed? I think so, kind of. Like if you're hiring people to do a job, that precludes you being unemployed yourself, right? Question mark? Could you fill out an unemployment survey if you have employees? Hmm, I don't think so. I think she counts as employed. Next up over here, we have maybe the only enterable building. Where this guy lives. This looks like, what, a restaurant? Break all the crates within 30 seconds to win the prize. You want to try? No. What kind of a thing is it? This is a restaurant, huh? All right, so you run a restaurant. You're, like, setting up a restaurant. I mean, it's got patio umbrellas and all that. Like, the, yeah, this is absolutely a restaurant. It's even got a little welcome sign in Italian for some reason. If you own a restaurant, you're employed. That's the way this works. All right, who else do we have in the center of the island here? We got you. What's your deal? Hello, you want to work for me for a little bit? That's another person trying to hire your employees. And then down here, we got these three guys. What are you doing? Dancing the night away? The boat's finally moving again. Okay. Do you have a job? Or are you just enjoying life? Because that's not helpful to anyone. Do you, like, work for the boat company? Is that why you're happy? Or are you just, like, a boat enthusiast? You kind of just look like a boat enthusiast. And you're just, like, psyched about the boat moving again. Frankly, if you were employed by the boat... You'd probably be annoyed that the boat was moving again because it means you have to get back to work. So I think I'm going to go for uh, unemployed for you. And then we got these two people. Now, where's that big old shine? The guidebook says it's the blah, blah, blah. Okay, guidebook. Why are you reading a guidebook if you're from here? It sure is dark. Is this the daytime? Are all cities dark? 
So you, you guys aren't from here, are you? You guys are like Piantas vacationing in, this isn't Pianta Village, Delfino Plaza. I keep calling it Pianta Village. Well, if you're vacationing, you don't count. Same as the toads. So yeah, you, you don't count. Uh, another one of these fruit ladies. You wanna work for me for a little bit? All right, employee, thank you for, thank you for your service. Anybody on this boat? Nope, it powers itself, okay. Ah, there's somebody on this island. We almost missed you. Are you another one of those fruit fruit people? You want to work for me? Indeed. Wow, what is this company, this fruit collecting company? Are you the people who you make tourists gather the fruit that you then sell at the market? Is that what's going on here? It's a little bit shady, I would say, but I'm, I'm not the government. I mean, I am the government. I'm the enumerator, but I'm not the cops, right? I'm just here to gather data. And I think that's it for people in Delfino Plaza. And that was some that was some very interesting data we collected, I would say. Oh my god, there's another man. Looks like I should have checked the roofs. All right, you're almost certainly not employed, but let's see what you have to say. Throw me a coin and I'll throw you for a loop. Is that a job? Guy who throws you for a loop? Is that a job? I'm gonna have him throw me and see if it feels like a job. And away you go, or if it's more of a hobby. Oh, I got a shine. What's what's the equivalent of that? You know, like I'm trying to think in my real life, what's the equivalent of a guy you give a dollar to and then he throws you? I guess it's kind of like paying someone to an alley. And the guy definitely seems to do it mostly because he really enjoys it. I think the important thing is his verbiage is throw me a coin and I'll throw you for a loop. To me, that smells like unemployed guy making money on the street and less like I'm a guy who does professional throwing. Yeah, look at this. A single coin may have the power to change your destiny. That's a street hustler right there. Unemployed trying to convince me that money can change my destiny. Get the hell out of here. Okay, I believe that wraps up our survey of the residents of Delfino Plaza. Sorry again for calling it Pianta Village for like 30 minutes. That was an oversight on my part. You know, I just I haven't played Mario Galaxy in a while uh, or Mario Sunshine. But that's it. That's our survey complete. Um, now, if you give me just a moment, we will send those results to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, so stay tuned for their full report of the employment situation uh, in just a moment. Thank you so much. Hold on, I forgot about everyone's favorite characters, the raccoons. These raccoons run a shop and you can buy shine sprites from them, which does imply that they're just kind of hoarding them, which is funny because it's like, we're in, we're in a huge disaster because of lack of shininess, I guess. So it's cool that it's cool that they are just like hoarding a bunch of them and selling them back to the community. You know, that's, it's kind of, they're like Martin Shkreli. You know, remember Martin Shkreli? But even hucksters are employed, and this raccoon is employed. The tiny raccoon, however, probably doesn't count because it's a kid. And I know there's been a lot of contentious discussion and comments about whether kids can be employed. I don't believe in child labor. I know it seems like a lot of you guys do. I don't believe in child labor. So if you want to put your lot in with child labor lovers, you go right ahead. But it's not gonna happen in this house. That child is not eligible for the survey. And that is the end of our survey. I can't believe I almost forgot them. Now we can throw it over to the Bureau for the press conference with the results, okay? Ready, amazing. Hello everybody, hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, today we've got the employment situation summary for Delfino Plaza, so we'll be going over that in just a moment. But please, please turn off your cell phones. Okay, so we conducted our survey uh, of Delfino Plaza, and here is the uh, here's our findings for the economic situation there. Total surface payroll employment for Delfino Plaza is at 22 persons, and unemployment is at 26 percent. Uh, Delfino Plaza's economy, as I said, consists largely of uh, largely, excuse me, of a sort of specialty tourism industry that provides simple and clean vacation amenities to uh, primarily royalty, diplomats, high-ranking, wealthy individuals. You don't see a lot of um, low-cost tourism coming to Delfino Plaza these days. Um, this sort of delicately catered um, locals experience appeals to a small but cash-rich demographic, um, which does allow the plaza to remain sort of quiet and gives it a certain amount of uh, 
gives it some unique qualities in its economic standing, but it, it provides a little flexibility if anything changes. Speaking of uh, unique circumstances, Delfino Plaza has a 26% unemployment rate. The number of people able, able to disengage from the workforce is sustainable to some extent, but only because of strong uh, internal resource management uh, that is built on the backs of there's a lot of underpaid or, or unpaid workers who are coerced into gathering food uh, in order to sort of give it to shop owners and resell it. This is common among sort of third world tourism destinations like this for the uh, super wealthy. And that sort of local resource management is, is really the only reason that you can have a place with such high unemployment um, that is in some sense sustainable. Uh, the most significant employment sector, this is not a surprising, is independent uh, market stands, which either directly or indirectly account for the majority of the city's 22 employed persons. Most of these stands resell uh, replenishable goods from other areas of the island to tourists. Uh, very little of it is exported directly from Delfino Plaza itself. Uh, there is some modest attempting within the city to foster imports from other countries like the Mushroom Kingdom, possibly using facilitating ports, uh, nearby ports like um, Rope Port, for example, but there's no indication that there's any sort of growth in that sector at all, and therefore no indication to think that the model of economic stability is going to change. Uh, the number of non-working or ineligible persons was two. There's one child and one retiree. This is a good indicator that Delfino Plaza is more of an amusement spectacle than a dynamic city and that more traditional residential economies uh, probably exist elsewhere on the island. Uh, the Bureau will be, at some point in the future, assessing the economic situation of the entirety of Isle Delfino, but we currently lack the requisite funds. So we're working on securing those funds at some point in the future. Uh, this data, 26% unemployment puts Delfino Plaza behind the other cities we've done so far, which are the city of Whiterun in Skyrim and Clocktown for Majora's Mask. Um, and it puts it right next to the earth country of Djibouti. Uh, this was a direct survey as usual conducted uh, over one very long day. Uh, there's more information in the report, which you can find in the, uh, it's either in the description or it's gonna be in the comments. Uh, you can read that full report if you like for more details. Uh, but that's going to wrap us up for this today. Thank you so much for your time. And you know what? If you enjoyed this video, one of the best things you can do to help my channel out is to immediately watch another one of my videos. Can I recommend one of these to you right now? We've done two other unemployment surveys. So if you haven't seen them, that's the place to go. And if you enjoyed this video, post a comment saying, hey, I like this video. Please make more videos like it. That tells me that I'm making the stuff that you want to see, which is what I want to do because I'm here to serve you. And if you want to be here to serve me, you can go to patreon.com slash any underscore Austin for $3 a month. You get access to a regularly scheduled Patreon. Patreon check-in video series where I answer your listener questions. I've got merch, I've got social media, and one more thing, in my free time I make a lot of music. It's one of my favorite hobbies and I use that music in all of my YouTube videos. So please today I wish you a fair afternoon and enjoy the song. I'll see you next time. What I want to know is who's the model in this in this on this sign. Do you think she actually exists on the island? I said she because of the titties, which is an assumption, I admit, but I made an assumption because I was trying to make an ass out of you. Clean up those walls, slacker. Wow, they really are cops. Man, I'm not going to go off on cops right now, but I had the the worst experience with a cop the other day. And I wasn't even doing nothing.